Hi, my name is Joyce, and I'm here tonight to share with you the National Anthem of Israel. I have to tell you, my friends and I had a after Passover, end of Passover party where we put a, a red tape on the floor and we all jumped over it to indicate, you know, jumping into the Promised Land. It was hilarious. It was wonderfully fun. I so appreciate the Jewish people and all of their traditions. They were the proving ground for God's faithfulness, and, and now that faithfulness is mine, and I'm grateful. So, about the national anthem, uh, the name of it is Hatifka, and it started, the lyrics started out uh, 1886. They were written by uh, uh, Napoli Imba, Imba, was his name, and he was kind of a bohemian, traveling, roving poet that had a bit of a drinking problem, and that comes up later in the story. The melody originated um, probably before that in Madolva as a folk song about an ox and a cart, and a kind of a humble beginning for a song that would become the national anthem. It was picked up by Smetana and used in his symphonic poem about the Moldau River, and then Samuel Cohen picked it up, put it together with Imbus lyrics, and it became famously popular among the Jewish people all over the world who were pressing forward for a land of their own. This was the Zionist movement, and this song became a hymn of the Zionist movement. So when, when it became a reality and Israel had its land again in 46, 47, it seemed natural selection that this would be the national anthem, but no, there was a lot of disagreement about it. Some people thought it was too religious. Some people thought it was too sad because it's in a minor key. It's kind of slow. Some people thought that the words were not appropriate. They, they felt that there were people living in Israel who were not Jews and this didn't, na didn't represent them well enough. They didn't like the fact that Smentana was uh, Polish, many. Polish concentration camps in their recent history. They didn't like the fact that the lyricist had been a drinker and that that didn't seem distinguished enough for a national anthem. So um, Theodore Herzl, the father of Zionism, organized a contest to see if they could find uh, a song that was more appropriate. And then, you know, could, some, could someone compose something original that was more appropriate? They didn't find anything they liked. So <laughs> consequently, Hatifka became, by default, the national anthem of Israel. And I want to read you the lyrics, and then I will play the melody for you. The lyrics are this. As long as Jewish spirit yearns deep within the heart, with eyes turned east looking toward Zion, our hope is not yet lost. The hope of two millennia to be a free people of the land, the land of Zion and Jerusalem. So this is the melody. Jerusalem. God bless Israel. 